Hey guys, let's start with our very first topic, input methods. You will get one question from this one. And what are the areas that you have to focus, I am going to share. So the same ground rule applies. You should not skip my instructions. And once you are done, you need to enter completed. You need to comment completed. So let's get started. The very first thing you do, go to Google and type input methods UiPath docs and open this one. Okay. And here I have highlighted couple of points which you must remember before appearing for the exam. The very first thing you must remember this entire table. This entire table you will get questions from. Okay. So there are when you use a click activity or type into activity, right? These are the classic activities. And in this one, if you see, there is something called send windows message simulate type. You would also see send windows message simulate type. Okay. So in input methods, there are, there are actually three, three different types. One is simulate click. Second one is send windows message. And the third one, if you do not enable any of this, then the default will work, which is known as hardware events. Let me show you. This is known as hardware events, which is the default one. Okay. If you do not enable both of them. Now here, the very first important point that you must remember, what is the recommendation from UiPath? UiPath recommends simulate type click method. Why? Because it is the fastest. See how I am highlighting so that when I revise it, it will be easy for me to capture that keywords. Those keywords are important. Okay. And this can work in the background. Simulate click. Okay. Simulate click means also open in your UiPath studio so that you can remember, right? Where is that simulate click? So this is the simulate click. If you enable this, if you make it true, that means all these things will be applied. So if you click on this once, it will become true. That means all these things will be applied. What is that? It will be, it can work in the background. It is the fastest way. There are a couple of other properties you should notice. Okay. What are these properties? When you're using simulate click, this is compatible with 99% of the web apps. Questions will come, okay. Uh, options will be there 99, 80. So you'll be confused. So if you remember this entire table, any question comes in input method, you will be able to answer it. Okay. So here remember 99% of the web app, 60% of the desktop app, similar click works. Okay. And it is working, it will work in the background. And then speed is 100% speed. The fastest is simulate click. Okay. These are the point you should remember. Hotkey support is not there. This is the only fault. You cannot send the send hotkey, right? Alt, uh, con control S, all those are hotkeys. So when you are sending those shortcut keys, if you are, if you have view simulate click, then you cannot use. Okay. This is the only thing which is not there. Auto empty. When, while you are typing, it will empty the field. So that feature is also available with simulate click. So this table is important and same with windows message 80% background. Yes. Uh, speed is 50% and then hotkey support is yes, but auto empty is not there. Hardware event is nothing but default. When you do not enable any of these two, that means that means default is working. If I do not enable any of this, that means default is working. Okay. So for, if it is default, then it is compatible with hundred percent of the application. So there will be questions like, let's say, uh, there is a legacy application. So which one would you like to go for? So hardware event would be the uh, good one. If the send, send windows message and the simulate click, or there's no need of emptying the field, or I don't have to, when I just have to send the hot key, uh, then uh, which would be the best one hardware event or send windows message. Okay, so it will be hard, hardware events if it is very old application. So probably hardware event would be the best one or it could be sent. So you need to read the question, understand how they are making a trick of that question, highlight those keywords in the question. And based on that, if you remember this entire table, you can answer. It's pretty simple. That's it. Okay. So the first one is similar click that UiPath recommends. The second one it recommends is your send windows message. And the third one would be default. That, that is how your recommendation flow. Okay. Uh, like how, what is the UiPath recommendation? So they will put send windows message, then arrow, um, similar click, then uh, different, different combination. So you should know, okay, the first recommended recommendation is similar click, then windows message. Then third one is the default. If nothing works, then go for default. Okay. All right. So that is important point. And then here is also there is one important point I have highlighted. 
the default application simulate a click type with the help of the hardware driver default means your hardware event that means you are not enabling anything if you are using the default one then it use the hardware drivers like when you move your mouse you you are using the mouse driver when you are typing something you are using your keyboard on your laptop you are using the keyboard driver so when you do not enable any any of the other two options then it will use the drivers okay remember this points hardware driver if you are using simulate type click then what it uses it uses the technology of the target application so i have highlighted lastly if you are using send windows message then it is going to send a specific message directly to the target application this will happen through the operating system how your operating system will communicate with the application same way it will use that os thing to send a message to the targeted application now from this if you remember this table what is the main is table if you remember this table properly until here if you remember this table then you can answer any question okay got it now let's quickly copy this what you do on your uh, google sheet i asked you to create a google sheet like this so all you do copy paste this now let's see if you can answer the question okay let me show you the question and see if you can really answer this question okay so the question is here now read it carefully what are the differences between send windows message this is from your ui path let me show you this is available for everybody academy.uipath.com go to certification and here you have the uh, so we are going for the advanced uh, this one so here is the test if you open this and enter your name and details finally there will be different different questions will come in different order doesn't matter i'm going to show so answer this question what are the differences between send windows message and simulate type input method so it is asking what is the difference between simulate type and send windows message so if i ask you to imagine where is that that means this two it is asking for these two options okay uh, i don't know um, my um, so let me keep the property panel on the right hand side so that you can see it okay so it is asking for these two options send windows message simulate click what is the difference okay so you understood the question you have remembered this let's see if you can answer this send windows message auto empty is the input field does send windows message auto empty no auto empty is only available with simulate click so this is a wrong so always remember i'll tell you another secret when you are answering this optional based question try to remove the wrong one so this is a wrong one right this is a exactly entirely wrong one so first of all you need to remove the wrong ones so this is a wrong one now let's read the second one send windows message is a compatible with 80% which is true uh, as per the table right as per the table it is compatible with 80% so you should have to remember okay simulate type is compatible with 100 no simulate type is not compatible with 100 99 and 60 if you remember 99 and 60 getting it how the questions are being framed so this is also wrong so let me mark it right um, now send windows message has hotkey support yes send windows message has hotkey support simulate type does not have hotkey support so this is correct simulate key doesn't have hotkey support right simulate click doesn't have but send so this is a right sentence so that means this should be green that means you should go and select this as the answer now let's read the third one so first you remove the wrong one so that you know which is the best right answer send windows message does not work in the background no send windows message works in the background right in the table it is written background is yes so that means this sentence is also wrong so once you take out the wrong ones you know which is the you will be pretty sure okay this is the right answer no doubt okay so first thing try to remove the odd ones or the wrong ones so these are the three wrong ones so the right answer will be this send windows message has hotkey support similar type does not have hotkey support. this is the right answer so you will not get the exact question you will get something around the table okay nobody knows how the questions would come it will something around the table it will come if you remember the table and if you remember the highlighted points you can answer any question okay there's also i have highlighted something here the input method can change at any point from the properties panel and the selected target. if similar type and send windows message checkboxes are not selected then default method is applied okay remember this one if you are not selecting anything then default method will be applied so these are the important points so what you do first thing you copy this entire uh, question okay so that when you revise it will be helpful you don't have to reopen you can just simply revise it from here right and let me copy the options here so what is the right answer here the right answer is this right so i can simply copy the right answer okay and here you should put a remark what is the remark remember the entire 
table in the doc okay so that in the document whatever table you should remember that is the main point got it guys so let's move on to our next topic do not skip my instructions all of these things is going to help you during your exam so do not skip and if you have completed simply comment completed okay i wanted to see how many people are really doing that okay i am putting my effort to pass the information you just have to write completed please do that okay that is also there will be a win win situation i'll be able to know it is going to help my channel it also going to help it will motivate me to really do more for you guys so please do it let's continue on to the next video and let's learn the next topic